Hey guys, sorry for the wait. I was having some technical difficulties. My microphone wasn't working, so then I tried to do like a voiceover type of review on my laptop, and that microphone wasn't working for some reason. So I was just having trouble, so I just went out and got a new microphone, but I'm very sorry, but hey, my review is here. Hey guys, thank you for joining the quest again today. I'm your host, Marquise Underwood, and today I'll be reviewing Batman vs. Superman, a movie that at first when I saw it, I really loved it, but over time, I must say, me not doing review of it for the past two weeks kind of helped to give it more of a realistic perspective on a movie. And it did put my review a little bit lower than it probably would have been had I put up the first two weeks. But I must say, I still enjoyed this movie. Basically, the movie's about you know, Batman, Superman is a conflict. Batman sees, you know, Superman do what he did in Man of Steel, and while he's reaping the repercussions of his actions, and so Batman has this, like, vengeful rage against him and Superman well people view him as a god of sorts so some people they like him they think he's useful and some people just want to get the hell away from here so that there's not another man of steel type of situation but of course with all that being there with Batman's animosity and Superman being conflicted about his position you know Lex Luthor comes in and kind of manipulates them both and well that's really the move first of all I thought the action scenes have done really well no shaky camera really thought out and really precise, you know, Batman has his martial arts technique and Superman is just, you know, punching and doing his thing. So, I mean, I thought that action scenes were done really well and really kept me engaged in the movie. And I thought the directing was done pretty good, too. I did like how, like, the opening shot where you see Bruce Wayne and his parents die, I thought that was done pretty cool. The way it looked, it actually reminded me of Watchmen, so I'm kind of glad that Zack Snyder kind of went back to his archive and did some old stuff that he did beforehand, so that was cool to see. And I mean, honestly, I must say, if you're like a fan of Man of Steel, you'll probably be a fan of this movie because it's really like a nice continuation in my point of view. Now, Ben Affleck as Batman, I think, honestly, he may be the best Batman yet. And I'm a big Dark Knight fan, so that's saying something. Yes, I love Christian Bale, and yes, I like Michael Keaton. But Ben Affleck, with him being like a darker Batman, he just fit perfectly to me. You know, I was one of those people, I was like, yeah, I don't know about Ben Affleck as Batman just because of his stint as Daredevil. But recently, Ben Affleck's acting has picked it up quite a few notches ever since movies like The Town and Argo and stuff like that. So I mean, I should have saw this one coming, but I thought he did a fantastic job. And Jesse Eisenberg, honestly, I was one of those people that said from the trailer that I thought he wasn't gonna fit. Just, he felt very over the top, very, not like uh, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is a very serious character. He doesn't play around like, how he does here but honestly watch this movie I really enjoyed Jesse Eisenberg honestly I think he's my favorite character in a movie besides Batman I mean every line that they had him say and stuff it kind of fit for me I think he was a great contrast to the darkness that was in Batman and a good contrast to the confusion of uh, Superman I felt like Lex Luthor is probably very confident in himself and just a nice way to manipulate the other people too. So I thought Jesse Eisenberg actually was a perfect choice for this role and what they were going for. But there are some iffy moments to me, like the whole part about how they like kind of mentioned the Justice League and you see their files and stuff. I thought they could have did that a little bit better. It was still cool to see you as like a comic book fan, but I did think they could have did it a little bit better. I didn't really like how they made like Doomsday. Like, I don't know what the hell Jesse Eisenberg was doing. I don't know how he got access to the ship and all that shit. But I mean, it was just kind of weird. And, you know, he scraped his hand in blood and put it on Zod. And all of a sudden, Doomsday was made. It was just, it was really confusing. It just kind of felt a little bit of a reach, honestly. Especially for the realistic tone that they were going for. So I couldn't really get with that, honestly. But I mean, overall, I thought the movie was pretty fun. I love Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot. I heard that she couldn't really act, but in the movie, I thought she had a pretty good line. But then again, she only had like 12, 15 lines of the whole movie. And I mean, she did it pretty good too, and convincingly in my eyes. And good fighting force too at the end with Doomsday. So I thought that was cool. I felt like this movie overall, I felt like it was a good lead up to Justice League and a good continuation of Man of Steel. It's kind of a, a mixture of both, honestly. Like the first half is a continuation of Man of Steel. And the second half is like a lead up to Justice League, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like two movies put into one. If that's what they're trying to go for, I don't know. But as a standalone movie, 
you can definitely question it and I understand why some people don't like it but as a fan of a you know Dark Knight Returns and Batman and Superman and comic book world and all I didn't go into the movie expecting you know some magnificent thing I just wanted to see Batman and Superman fight and that's honestly what I got out of the movie so for that I gotta get this movie a B plus I'm giving this one a 3.7 out of 5 you know maybe two weeks ago I might have given it an A minus an A but here I gotta give it a B plus yes it has flaws Yes, it has some issues. Yes, they could have did a little bit better with the Justice League stuff. Yes, Doomsday did not have to be a part of the movie. I totally agree with you. But, I mean, I liked it all as a comic book fan. And I feel like some movies, you just have to go into the movie just enjoying the movie. Don't, you know, look for all the extra stuff in it. And just enjoy seeing your favorite superheroes fight, you know, a bad guy. Fight each other. And, I mean, I really got what I wanted out of the movie. And this was definitely, like... I think it was second on my list of most anticipated movies of 2016. Now I basically got what I wanted. Yes, it could have been better, but I'm very satisfied. So, have you seen Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice? If you have, comment below and I want to know your thoughts. Was it better than Man of Steel? Did it feel like a, I don't know, a trailer for Justice League the whole time? What did you think of Ben Affleck as Batman? I want you guys to comment below. I want you guys to hit that subscribe button for this channel. Hit that like button for this video and join the quest.